Um, I am I am going to hand it over to um, the Dean of our College of Hospitality, Sport and Tourism Management, Dr. Um, Bridget Nyland. Thank you, Sarah. It's really nice to see everyone. Um, this, and I do see some folks um, that I've had an opportunity to meet with before. Um, so it's great to see you guys back again. Um, tonight, what I really just want to cover is what makes uh, Niagara University's College of Hospitality, Sport and Tourism such a unique experience and also one that's really focused on professional development. So um, as you can see from our uh, and I guess I'll wait just a few minutes because I feel like I'm just going to wait a, a second because I feel like there's some other people joining. So I want to make sure I have everyone have an opportunity to hear what I have to say. All right. Um, I think what I'd like to do to start is if everyone could use the chat box and just generally kind of put their area of interest so I can tailor my comments to tonight to be most useful to you as you're making your college decisions. So Within our college, we really we have three programs, and a lot of times our students interact with those programs together. But students can earn a bachelor's degree in sport management, um, hospitality management, or tourism and event management. So if everyone could just take a second and drop in the chat box what exactly uh, their particular areas of interest are out of those three. And then that way I can make sure that I mention all the various opportunities that we have. Okay, great. We have both the sport management and the hospitality management. Anyone with event management? Is there anyone interested that is interested in studying under our event management program? There's another sport management. All right, Sarah, if you could kind of watch the chat box in case anyone adds anything else. But right now it looks like we have folks that are interested in hospitality management and sport management. Oh, good. Oh, and good. someone else also about it. that's great well what's great about our program is we really offer so much for all three of those particular um, majors and what we talk a lot about in our college is that the reason why we are so unique is number one we're one of the oldest colleges in the country that have focused on hospitality sport and tourism slash event management um, as just a standalone focus um we often say fun is our work because at the end of the day, the common thread between all three of those industries is really that it is part of the experience. They're part of the experience economy. We're providing experiences to people in which generally the expectation is, is they want to have fun. So it's a really great area to work in because the focus is really providing a fun experience, regardless of whether it is through hospitality, which is like hotel and event, restaurant, luxury club that falls under hospitality whether it's sport and there's a lot, it can be fun as a sport participant, it can be fun as a sport fan. And then finally, tourism and event management really covers everything from travel to planning large corporate events, uh, weddings, um, concerts, entertainment that all falls, falls under our tourism and event management program. Um, okay, so all three of those are part of what we call the experience economy. And what's great for you guys, if you're interested in this, is we, it's a part of the economy where people put uh, the purchasing of, of an experience over the ownership of goods. It's a good time to be exploring becoming a manager or a leader within this economy because uh, millennials, who is our next big spending force in the United States, um, they would like to spend, as the slide shows here, they wanna spend their more money more on a desirable event or experience rather than a possession or a good. So the job prospects in this area, and it's probably something either you're thinking about or your parents are thinking about, but the job prospects in hospitality, sport, or event and tourism management uh, are pretty bright because we are seeing an increase in jobs and an increase in demand for manager managerial level jobs, not front level jobs, not entry level jobs, but the jobs that you guys are interested in, which is really, um, about kind of going in and leading that area of the economy, whether it is sport, hospitality, or tourism and events. Um, so why study uh, tourism and event, hospitality, sport, and tourism management? A couple things to be really important for you guys is number one, these are management level degrees. We, our curriculum is very similar, if not identical to a business degree that you would get from a college of business. 
The difference is, is we call it an applied learning, which means that our students learn the key concepts of business through the lens of hospitality, sport, and tourism and event management, depending on what they want to study. What does that mean? How does it make it different? Our, uh, our curriculum is very um, active. Yes, we have classrooms. You're, you're going to go into class. You're going to learn the stuff that you need to learn in class. But in addition to that, you also um, have the ability to go out immediately into the workspace and get the experience, uh, whether it's in hospitality, sport, or tourism. So you'll be attending some classes. Some of those classes will require you to do industry hours. We connect you to those industry hours. So you're immediately getting out into the workforce and getting into those great experiences. Um, as you can see from the other bullet point here, um, we, we also make sure that students have the key management skills. So again, focusing on leadership and delegation, the importance of being able to lead a team, being able to be part of a team, whether that team is focused on putting on a great event, putting on a great sporting related event, whether it's for participation or for people to, to watch the sport, um, also making sure people uh, can know their IT skills. We have a lot of um, emphasis on um, providing uh, analytical based skills. So we do have a close relationship right now with the Delaware North Company. They own a number of hotels and event centers. We've worked closely with them and the individuals that run that organization help us kind of set what's learned in the classroom in terms of what you need to know. Um, these are our three degree programs. Uh, so when you come in to study with us, you'll choose one of these tracks. What's nice about studying with us is you do not have to do this immediately. You'll come in and all of our students take the same courses, the same basic kind of structural uh, foundation courses your first couple of years. So you learn marketing, you learn, um, you get a background a little bit in the finance and budgeting side of hospitality, sport and tourism. Uh, you learn law and regulation. Um, you learn a lot of these kind of basic communication courses. And then as you get more experience in the industries, you'll start to select what part of these three programs do you really want to study? Um, if you know that you want to go into hotels, then you have some choices. Do you want to get into hotel uh, development and planning and operations? Do you want to get into the food and beverage management side of hotels or restaurants? Do you want to go into luxury hospitality operations, which could be at a resort or a spa, or do you want to study club management? On the sports side, um, I don't, I mean, there's really not a better place to study any of these programs than Niagara because of our, how long we've been around and how many resources that we can provide to you. But uh, our sport program is the premier sport program in New York State. Um, we get students out immediately working in professional sports, college sports, um, you can you can kind of focus on any area within sports. So it could be youth, collegiate, or pro professional or community-based sports. Um, and we have very strong ties to uh, college sports and professional sports. Um, on the tourism and event side, um, what's really neat about Niagara is we are we are a tour we are a tourism destination, and our campus is an event and meeting site. So when you come to study with us and you're interested in event management, we're not gonna send you out to get that experience. You can actually get that experience by being on our events management team here uh, right off the bat. And what makes that really uh, exciting for you is that you can start to get that some of that experience and then you can decide, do you wanna go over and do event and meeting management for um, Discover Niagara Falls, which is a big, um, tourism destination arm of the state government or visit Buffalo Niagara um, or um, work with any number of our alumni that are out there um, in the uh, in the uh, tourism and event industry for you to work with. Um, why study specifically with us? You have a lot of choices. A lot of people want you guys to come and study on their campuses. You're in a great spot. So it's, you, ha you have the ability to really ask questions of people and really tailor what you want um, to what you're going to get. But we are a little bit of a unique place here. I've said it a few times and I kind of want to explain it why I say that so much is as a standalone college, we have a lot of resources that are just directly focused on our students. Our students don't have to fight for resources with 
um, accounting majors or education majors or physical education majors. Um, we, as a standalone college, have resources that immediately go into students. An example would be is our students do, they travel to the Super Bowl. Our students work at the Super Bowl, they get paid, um, but we also have money that offsets the cost of you traveling. So we are taking 10 students over to the Super Bowl. Those students happen to be both from hospitality and hotel uh, management, sport management, and tourism and event management, because the Super Bowl is actually a really good example of how you have one single event that really can touch upon all of those um, majors. So our students will go out this year to Las Vegas and they will spend a week out in Las Vegas the week prior to the Super Bowl. Um, so those students will get paid to be out there and they will work a few days of those events as, as including game day within the stadium. Another thing that makes our program really unique is we have full-time faculty advisors that are focused on the areas of hospitality, sport, and event and tourism management. These are folks that are here just to teach you on those topics. You're not sharing those professors with a, a larger business group. Um, it's really all about teaching you kind of the hospitality, sport, and tourism industries. I think one of the also really new, unique things about being a standalone college is we have a staff here within the Dean's office that's just focused on supporting the students. So there's three of us. I'm the Dean, my name is Bridget Nyland. I've been working in college, I've uh, been a college professor for over 20 years. Um, my background is a lot, is actually in all three industries. So I've worked a lot with hotels and hotel management um, when in terms of um, scheduling athletic events, large athletic events. I worked at the NCAA for about 15 years um, and worked really closely with uh, the NCAA and, on, and NCAA collegiate events, sporting events, which typically involve hotels with all the travel that college athletes do. Um, I've also obviously been uh, working in sport management, obviously at the NCAA, and then also with some professional sports franchises. And then um, I have a lot of experience with tourism and event management, bringing large tourist-based athletic event or entertainment events to the Western New York region and, and um, kind of making sure that those events run successfully. Then there's a assistant dean, Brandy Guerno, and Brandy is what we call your academic person. So she's going to come in. And if you're a first year student here at Niagara, Brandy is your academic advisor. She's here every day, Monday through Friday, pretty much 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you will always be able to find her to answer questions about your academics. We also have Alicia Samarco. She is our director of events and experiential learning. We also kind of, we kind of call Alicia your life person. So if you have something that you need to work through from your college life standpoint, whether it be a dorm issue, um, a problem with a bill, um, something you might need to do, you know, to get home uh, for vacations, all of those things, Alicia is here. That makes us really, that's kind of rare. The other schools you're looking at, I don't know if they'll quite have the number of people that are here just to make sure that you're um, successful and supported. Another thing that makes us very unique is our experiential learning program. What does experiential learning mean? Guys, it just means getting you out in the workforce as soon as possible and connecting you up to job opportunities. Chances are when I speak to students who are interested in hospitality, sport, or event management, they don't want to be stuck behind a desk. And they aren't careers in which you're stuck behind a desk. You're typically out there helping large events happen, small events happen. The next thing that's really great about our program is our alumni mentors. So we have over 3,000 alumni from our college alone uh, throughout the world. Uh, these folks do everything to run. They can work at professional sports franchises. They run large hotels. They run uh, private luxury clubs. Um, they run large tourism and event programming industries for um, the states or the counties that they work in. So our alumni are very active and they want to make sure that you have job opportunities that you get that return on investment of your degree. And so we match you up uh, your first year with an alumni mentor and that mentor will take you through your time at Niagara and really become a wonderful source for you to kind of make sure you have everything you need to get a job when you graduate. I'm gonna pause for a second and use the chat box to see if anyone has any questions you can feel free to just type your name in the, uh, or type your question in the chat box, and I'm happy to answer any of those questions. So are there any questions so far, anything in particular you wanna know more about? 
Okay, well, that chat box will be open for all of you um, as we, um, as I finish up this presentation. So please make sure, I just wanna make sure you guys get the information you need to make a really great choice for your next call or for your next step uh, into college. We have this saying um, here, I have, um, in addition to working at the NCAA, I was a college athletics director for about four years. We and, have um, a question. Oh, great. Um, somebody asked, up. how many students usually go through the program? Um, Programs. so uh, right now we have um, in our various majors, uh, we well, it's kind of hard. Depends which program I might ask, but if you're a sport management program, how many students do we have studying sport management currently? Um, we have about 150 students in all four grade levels currently studying sport management. Um, we have about uh, similar, we have a little smaller numbers. We have about 50 over in hotel and luxury club management. And then our um, tourism and event management, we have a lot of students who minor and major and mix, and that's somewhere around 25 to 30 students um, pulling in all of those students. It's actually a really nice kind of, the sport management side is nice because it's a large group and um, it, again, that's broken down by grade. So it's not gonna, it's 150 total. Um, our students tend to also, because you take the first two years of um, classes, you have some common classes among those three majors, they get to know each other really well. And it's a really nice compliment, like, you know, our sport management, we're not siloed. So you end up just kind of identifying as being a student within our college, rather than being our student within a particular program, which actually, it, it makes it really nice. It, 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 uh, we're a team here, we're a family, which is a nice segue to my saying four for the next 40. We are not a college that is just interested in you during the four years that you're here. We're really a college that is committed to you for the next 40 years, making sure that you get what you need while you're with us so that you can have a great life after you're with us. Um, so we address kind of the now with the future in mind. We wanna make sure that you have a really great college experience, that, that you get to have a lot of say in what you want and how you want to study. We have what we call an open curriculum, which allows you to pick a lot of electives across all three of those majors to build you kind of a line of study that really best prepares you for what you wanna do next. Um, I think an example of that is sometimes we have students that want to work in the hotel industry, um, but they really, they maybe don't see themselves running the hotels, but maybe the events at the hotels. So um, that would mean that you would take, you know, your hotel management courses, but also some of your event management courses. We have a lot of students on the sports side that they really want to get, um, to get involved in the communication side of sport. And so they'll take um, the standard sport management classes, but then pull in a lot of our communications classes that, um, that have to do with our ESPN radio station, our social media training, our web, we have a web design class so you can build your own websites um, and have that skill set, which is incredibly valuable to whoever hires you. Um, so we go ahead and we make sure that we kind of um, uh, work with you throughout the time that you're here so that you can end up building um, some of those experiences uh, for you. For you, um, Majors, minors, concentrations, all of that. Again, we, we kind of treat people as part of a team member. So really your first couple semesters you're here, we just want you to get to into college, get settled, have some success academically, start to do some industry hours. And then you really have this great relationship with your faculty members and with folks here in the dean's office about what do you want to what do you want to do next and how can we build you a set of classes that best prepare you for doing that so i hope that answers that question um the last thing is is and i'll talk about it at the end we have some unique study abroad programs and we have some scholarships that are really unique to our college again i'll pause and ask and see if there are any questions All right, again, feel free to use that chat box um, to go ahead and drop any questions in. All right, how do we go about getting you type of the, the type of experience that you can start to make those decisions about what it is exactly you wanna do after college? We have a set, we kind of have a stage of trips, so, or experiences. The first one is, is that we take a lot of exploration trips. 
So yes, you'll be here at Niagara University. We have a beautiful campus. We have a great athletics department and we have a really robust club sports program and recreation program. We have a number of clubs that are built around hospitality and tourism event management. Um, sport is part of what we do, but it is certainly not all of what we do. We really try to create opportunities for all our students. So we have three clubs, the Sport Management Association that you see here, the Hotel and Tourism Association, and the Club Management Association. These guys take trips immediately. So actually, this pa the past week, our hotel, let me go back, Club Management Association, they've already traveled twice this, twice this semester. The first one was a local conference here um, just outside of uh, Buffalo over in Rochester. And they met with, they go on tours of a lot of private luxury clubs, meet with the individuals that run those clubs, um, kind of get to ask a lot of questions. Then they went down and they were in Miami. So they went down and about uh, 15 students went down to the Miami trip. They, they met with, again, they go, they go to the industry, they tour um, private luxury clubs. These can be golf clubs, beach clubs, tennis clubs, country clubs. Um, that's what the, the all of those clubs have a whole entire group of managers. They manage everything from the club operations, social media and marketing, financial management, um, food and beverage management. So that's an example. Those students have already been out traveling. Um, our Hotel and Tourism Association, they went out this past uh, two weeks ago. They were gone for about four days. They were in, throughout New York State meeting with all the different tourism and event management businesses that kind of do that type of work. Students are excused from classes during this time period. It's just part of what we study. This upcoming weekend, our Sport Management Association is going up to Toronto because it's kind of their regional trip. So they're going to Toronto and they'll be studying all the professional, uh, they'll be visiting with the Maple Leafs, the Raptors, FC Toronto, um, and uh, U, of, U of T up there and kind of looking at how they do sport. Um, in sport management. Um, they'll be meeting, they're actually a, a former Niagara employee is the voice of the Toronto Raptors. So they're gonna be taking a really close look at the Toronto Raptors communication and broadcasting. And we do have a um, couple, we do have a couple sure. more questions in the chat box. Yep. Um, somebody asked, how are students selected to participate in the Super Bowl trip, Buffalo Sabres internship um, or other programs? Okay, so, um, we, there is an application process for all of those. Um, we do kind of look at um, what we wanna do. So this is a great question to talk about this slide with. We really like to, to choose those students who have gotten out there and gotten these experiences. So you'll have an application and you'll fill it out. Obviously we can only take 10, but I do wanna say the Super Bowl is obviously highly sought after. But in addition to the Super Bowl, we go to Major League Baseball spring training. We work numerous NCAA national championships and regional championships. So if you are a student that wants to get involved in those type of events, you are going to have those opportunities. If you were asking me what's the best way to make yourself competitive, you start your freshman year and you go on these trips and you start participating in it. So like I said, the fall trips tend to be regional. The spring trips tend to be national. Our sport management association has gone to Boston, Atlanta, Charlotte, Greensboro, New York City, Tampa, San Diego, Chicago. Those tend to be a lot of the cities that we rotate through. So you really kind of get yourself involved and get out and do some of that work. Hotel and tourism, same thing. Regional trips in the fall, um, uh, national trips in this uh in the spring. And again, we tend to rotate some of those big cities. So the best way to get selected for the Super Bowl and some of the other high level, high level sought after trips, get involved, start by these ex exploration trips. Next. Oh, one uh, more question. Oh, sure, sure, absolutely. Okay, um, to the person asking for a copy, yes, we will send a copy of the recording to all of our participants in the next 48 hours or so. Um, and then another question for um, Dr. Nyland is um, just clarification. Um, when traveling, is it part of the tuition or is it an additional expense to the student? Great question. Um, it's half and half. So let me just give you, so go to, to go to the Super Bowl, um, to, for a student to go to the Super Bowl, if you were to just price that out, it's $3,500. The cost to our students is $400 and you can go ahead and fundraise for that. And so, um, 
we try to keep the costs of going on these trips as low as possible. So some of the trips, so for example, the kids going up to Toronto, they're spending about $50. That's it. We cover the cost of hotels and transportation. They'll bring, you know, typically we, we do like students to have some sort of investment into the trip. It's just kind of a good financial planning tool. But I do have to tell you, you do not play, pay the full cost. We, we heavily subsidized all of our trips. And we do really try to keep it down to, if it's a regional, we try to keep it somewhere between 50 and $100. If it's a national, we try to keep it down to the actual cost of the flight, but no more than $400. Um, and then we would cover your hotel and your food and your transportation while you're there. Um, it can, 400 is the high end. That's the most we charge and that's to go to the Super Bowl. That's just because obviously, the, like I said, it costs the college to send you there about $3,500 per student. We heavily subsidize that. What makes Niagara unique because we're a standalone college is because we have um, our alumni, they, they donate money so that you guys can go out and get these experiences. They recognize how expensive it is and they want to make it manageable. As Dean, what I can tell you is I reward hard work and investment. So if you, you know, want to go on these trips and cost is a factor, you know, we kind of have meetings about that. And then we really brainstorm ways that you can work off some of those costs within our college. So we do try to make sure that these trips are within reach of everyone who wants to go and that there's people that aren't able to go. We don't want someone not to go because they can't afford it. I think that's the best way to say it. So we do work with our students on that. Any other questions before I move on? All right. For this next one, I'm going to work through this slide and then take questions at the end. Sarah, if that helps. Okay. So to go back to what is another way to make yourself competitive to be selected for a trip? This So go on the exploration trips. But the next thing we offer is what we call a practicum program. So this slide here represents our practicum on the job training. The very first class that you'll take when you become a Niagara student in our college is you take a one credit quote lab class that gets you ready to get out in the workforce. How do we get you ready? We get you in and you're working on your, res how you, you learn how to write a resume and write a cover letter. And by that, I know that many of you already know that, but we're gonna teach you from industry professional, uh, professionals. So they're gonna show you how to write that so it matches up and that you're selected for a job. Because a lot of times what companies do right now is they do these search on your resume for terms and you're gonna wanna be able to make sure you've written that in a way that your resume gets flagged and you get interviewed. So we do that, we set up a LinkedIn page for you. You start on a personal, you start to build your own personal kind of marketing website about yourself. Um, you come in and you get a professional headshot that goes on your LinkedIn page. So all of this stuff to really get you out ready to work. Then the next semester, we have practicum programs. Those, so these are programs in which you take it with a group of students and you'll go and you'll get work experience at a specific place. Um, it's only the, it's about 40 hours of work over the entire semester and typically, and you'll work with a faculty, faculty member at one of those practicum sites. Um, that helps to build your resume so that you have a really competitive resume to go after bigger jobs. Then, then finally, HST 203 is your, uh, again, it's kind of the next level of a practicum. It's still 40 hours a week. I'm sorry, 40 hours over the whole entire semester, but you may, you'll go to a different site and you'll always have that faculty member to kind of go back to and bring your questions about being out in the workplace. So that's our practicum programs. The goal is after that, you are just a stellar candidate um, for our internships. I do wanna kind of go back just a couple slides here. Where will these practicum programs be? You could do one locally and there's some of the places like Niagara Athletics. Um, uh, we either can work in the athletics department among all the sports. We have an ESPN channel. We have a lot of students that learn how to do game film and communications. We also have a hockey arena and we have some students that learn hockey operations and basketball operations that, that are very helpful to you to, to land jobs within those sports. Um, and then obviously we, do, we are the largest uh, undergraduate sport management program in the area when we talk about sport management. So we send our students out to, um, for example, the University of Buffalo does not have a sport management program. So they end up um, working with us and a lot of our students go over there to support their uh, their programs, especially their football program. Hotel and tourism events, it's all about you guys as well. 
we have relationships with every major hotel within Western New York. Um, and, the, and what's wonderful about our hotel management students is hoteliers will pay you. Um, and they typically want to get, they want to convince you to come work for them. So our hotel management students are very sought after. Um, and they can kind of have their pick of jobs in their area, uh, which is wonderful. Our students tend to like to work in the Niagara Falls hotels just because they're very close and there's kind of a sense of team and camaraderie among our students. Our tourism event students, you go working everywhere from our own events. Like I told you, we have our own event planning team. We help put on galas, dinners, and concerts that happen here within our campus, as well as those that happen in Niagara Falls. We also have a relationship with Art Park. So during the summer, students can go and work at Art Park and work on all of their events. We have a program here at Niagara that if you are engaged in an internship or practicum during the summer, you can stay on campus and live on campus for $100. That's all you pay. You can stay within the dorm and, and that's a really nice opportunity for those of you that aren't from Buffalo. Um, our internships, again, I wanna kind of pivot over. Oh, I should talk about this, wait. So then you can also go out of town so again, there's the Super Bowl. We go to the Super Bowl every year. We go to Greensboro, North Carolina and work with their Conventions and Visitors Bureau. Um, they put on everything from large conventions that kind of um, are very helpful to our hotel and event management students. They are also a sports tourism destination. They're called Tournament Town. Uh, they have a world-class uh, swim arena that they bring in world-class competitions for that. And our students work through all of those. We have a strong relationship with the New York Athletic Club. The New York Athletic Club is a really interesting business. They're both a high level luxury hotel and event space in Manhattan, but they also train Olympic level athletes in Manhattan and on the Long Island Sound. And our students go and kind of whether, depending on what, what their interest is, they can work in those areas. I also mentioned major league baseball and spring training and Miami-Dade. So those are just some of our practicum programs. Again, after the practicum programs, we really hope, we, we expect you to be ready to land your paid internship. Um, and so we have a summer internship match program, which starts in uh, January, as soon as you come back, we will start having weekly meetings about landing you a paid summer internship. Like I said, NU housing is available for students who aren't from this area and wanna stay in here um, for, to do their summer internship. We also provide summer internships to get course credit, which can get you out the door, get you across the graduation sooner. And that's for only $300, you can take what is normally a $3,000 level course. That may sound a little weird right now because you're not in college, but once you get here, you'll understand kind of what a great benefit that is. We do have a program though too. We waive the summer internship program for any student that gets accepted into Niagara and commits to us by May and deposits by May 1st. I hate that sounds like a little salesman-y, but it's really not. We just want that incentive because the sooner we know that you're that you're committed to us, the sooner we can start working with you. So we really want to know that number earlier. So that's why we waive the summer internship fee course. So student freshman students or transfer students, if you deposit, you can come in and you can start taking that course and start getting your closer to graduation on um, the summer before you're, you're, you even start at Niagara. Um, our students also do academic year internships um, and we try to work with them on transportation issues. So we definitely try to look at everything that will make an internship experience great. I'm going to pause and see if there are any questions. Anything in the, let's see, anything in the chat box for me, Sarah? Um, I don't see any additional questions. Okay. Um, everything I've talked about also, that's just the support that's given within our college. Our students also work really closely with our uh, support from career services. So that's just another layer of support and another way we help build the, the managers of the experience economy is that we really make sure that you get a lot of support. Um, when you go to college, you're going to find, like, you're going to want enough of an opportunity to do what I always say, like, kind of find your person. You're going to find your people. Those are going to be your friends. We call it finding your person. Finding that either professor, assistant dean, or dean, like, your person could be me, but your person could also be one of our faculty members. Or your person could also be uh, Alicia, who's our director of events experiential learning. We want you to find that person on campus that really is gonna help you nav navigate not only college, but become this person that you can rely on what to help you kind of transition into the workplace. So that's why we like to, we have so many people involved 
because we want you to find the right person that, that will have to. And what's really great about Niagara is you will, you'll find your people among students and you'll find your group of friends, but you'll also find your person within our college. Um, whether, like I said, sometimes it's a, we have a gentleman, Kyle Barker, he runs our ESPN um, studio. I always kind of joke with the kids that work for Kyle, I call them Barkerites because they're just like, they're, they have their own little team group of people and they go out and they film our sports events. They do communications for them. They go out and film um, sport events that are in the community. And, you know, Kyle is so clearly someone that they really look to and they're learning so much from. Um, so you'll find those, you, I want you to find that person here on our campus um, that will help you make that transition to college and then transition into work. All right, so we have a couple unique programs. Um, first, I'm gonna start with our scholarship programs. So we are the official higher education partner of um, the Buffalo Sabres and we have our Sabres Scholars Program. Two things to remember about the Sailors Sabres Scholars Program. I'm speaking way too fast. Um, the first is this program benefits every single student, regardless of your major here in our college. We have these unique work experiences with the Sabres because the Sabres entity, you might know them just as hockey, but they actually run the Harbor Center, which runs, it, it's not only an ice arena, but it has a hotel. And they also run a restaurant within that, which is an event space. So this close relationship allows, again, a mentor type of relationship between our students and their employees. So um, it is kind of every student gets a bit of unique access to working with the Sabres and all their different business entities. There is a pro an application process for the act to be an actual Sabres scholar, and that is 10 students each entering class. Um, you, you get a one-time $1,500 scholarship to be part of this, and then you're in this cohort. And those 10 students make a bit of a time commitment, so it's not for everyone. And some students wanna come here and study because of the Sabre Scholars Program, which benefits everybody. Some students really wanna make a larger time commitment and really work on and be a Sabre Scholar. So those students, um, again, they're kind of assigned a mentor and they take classes that are tied to the Sabres business and learning as much as they can about professional sport and the event management and the hospitality management that occurs with professional sport. It's a great program. Um, right now we have 20 students in it. Um, we already have students who have secured internships through this program with the Buffalo Sabres, the Buffalo Bills, the Buffalo Bandits, um, the Rochester Amherst. We have students that have gotten work experiences down at the Marriott Harbor Center as well. Um, any questions on the Sabre Scholars? Okay, um, that application will launch officially in January 2024, and it will be open for about six weeks, and then we'll make those selections to be announced in March, okay? All right, my hospitality and tourism folks, you are not left out. Um, we have the Statler Scholars Program and the Marani Scholars Program. These are programs that are open to hospitality management and tourism management students. Um, Scott, the Statler Scholars Program is for hotel management students. The Marani Scholars Program really hits anyone who's interested in kind of working in either the tourism or hotel space. Um, there is an application process for both of these. Uh, the Marani Scholars Program, there'll be three students per year that are accepted into the Marani Scholars Program. The Statler Scholars Program kicks in for all hotel management students once you've completed one year here, and you get anywhere from $500 to $1,000 per semester to be a hotel management student under the Statler Scholars Program. The Statler Program also has a scholarship of excellence that award is awarded to one Niagara student as they enter their junior year. So that's an incredible award to receive. Um, so those are just some unique scholarship programs uh, for our hotel, uh, hotel hospitality and tourism management students. Uh, these are some of the places that our students go on to work. Um, you can see they're everything from college athletics to some really large hotel chain. Um, I'm going to stop here for a second um, and just share with you. Uh, we are, our uh, college has a close relationship with the Hyatt Corporation and the Hyatt Corporation Corporate Management Program. 
The Hyatt uh, Corporate Management Program uh, typically takes anywhere from three to six students from our college and the students, it's a wonderful program. You're with them for three years. Um, they take you through various parts of their program. Um, and so um, you're gonna go over, let's go to Niagara Coast, yeah. So that all of this information that I've shared with you tonight can be found. Um, this is an internal website. We'll give you the link though. This is run for our students that really captures everything we do for them in terms of getting these opportunities out uh, to our students so you can get these outside of the classroom experiences. Um, so um, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is what's unique to our college is our study abroad program. I don't know if you want to click back to NU. Um, and uh, if you want to go on to, I could probably just, um, um, here, why don't you, yeah, our Lake Como program. So our Lake Como, Lake Como Italy program, our students go over uh, C-O-M-O. Uh, nope, sorry, it's just C-O-M-O. Um, our Lake Como program is in Lake Como, Italy. Students go over there and study and work for the summer. Um, and um, it's a wonderful, it's beautiful. It's heavily subsidized by the Statler Foundation. So most students do not pay a lot of money. Your financial aid applies and you typically graduate a semester early. It is a wonderful program. It's 10 weeks over there. You receive 15 credits of coursework and you are able to um, uh, graduate a semester early. The other program too is we uh, also offer the Disney scholars, the Disney program. And so our Disney program is the students go and work at Disney for a semester um, and your financial aid applies to that as well. So that is everything we have to offer that really helps you get ready for the work world. Um, does anyone have any questions? Well, the best way to learn about our program is to come and shadow a day here with us. I think you'd really enjoy meeting with our students. So uh, tonight I'm gonna email each of you an invitation to follow up with me and Alicia Samarco about scheduling a shadow day. You can come on campus, attend a class, uh, have lunch with some current students and really just learn more about our program. Guys, we're a, a niche kind of unique program. We send, um, we send leaders out into the hospitality, sport and tourism and event management industries at a pretty high level. Um, I, if you are at all interested in working in that type of job, those active jobs where you're uh, kind of new, something new every day, um, a challenge every day, working with people either in, in front or behind the scenes, um, you'll really want to come and learn a little bit more about how we prepare you to do that here at NIAC. So I really appreciate your time tonight and um, I will just see if there are any other questions. I'm also happy to hang back and just talk one-on-one -on -one with people if that's what you'd prefer as well. Okay, I do not see any additional questions, um, but as Dr. Nyland mentioned, she will be reaching out to everybody um, and I will also be sending a uh, copy of this recording to all of your emails. Um, when, within the next 48 hours or so. Great. Well, I hope I hope we I hope I cross paths with you guys during the recruiting process. If not, have a wonderful either senior year in high school or if you're transferring to us from somewhere else, um, wherever you are. And I wish you guys all a really great Thanksgiving and I hope we can stay in touch. All right, thank you.